So guys, we have arrived here at Amanduera Resort in the Algarve and we are going to be spending the next few days here and seeing everything it has to offer. So, Kevin, what are we going to be doing? Well, we have an exciting trip planned for you, Mr. <laughs> Rastel. Um, so we're going to be playing the Faldo course, we're Very going good. to be playing the O'Connor course, we're going to be playing night golf. Cool. Uh, and obviously we're just going to be staying in the facility, we'll be eating here, we can go to the gym, there's loads of facilities here that we can just take full advantage of so while we're here. Five so some five football pitches, we're going to have a kick about. a bit of football we can have a kick about. <laughs> so uh, there's just loads and loads of stuff for us to do. So we're going to be starting off today on the Faldo course. Brilliant. So first job of the day is go and get our clubs and, uh, and get on the golf course. So come on then. So that's our round done on the Faldo today. Yep. Which was awesome. It was good, yeah, very good. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, it's, it's so hot. It's a tough golf course. <laughs> it is, yeah. But super good fun. The back nine, particularly, when you, the back nine, you get up into the, it's yeah. the far away from the golf course, right, it's really high up, isn't it? And the views are across. Back to the clubhouse, fantastic, aren't they? Yeah, it's so, it's so hard to club yourself as well because it, it you know, like I said, the change yeah. in elevation are crazy, aren't they? Um, I definitely wouldn't want to walk that back nine. And no, it's a long way, all, isn't it? Yeah, very um, hilly. Or play it off the back tees. Yeah, I mean those very back ones. It would be an absolute slog, wouldn't it? But yeah, very enjoyable. We got it on a gorgeous day, as you can see. The sunshine is, yeah, yeah. is here. Um, but yeah, very, very good. And and I think some of the I think when you come and play this course, if you guys come and play this course, pick the tees that you're going to enjoy. The golf course one Absolutely. because actually there are some carries from the tees that yeah we played from a few different tees to just see what they were we like did, yeah and some of the carries are quite daunting when you're on the tee um but i think if you pick the right tees then you're still going to really enjoy the round even That's though it. it's tough even i think yellow tees would be too long for most people even to play um i think you might even want to go forward because there's a blue tee before you get to the red yeah something like that would pro for your average club golfer is probably the way you want to be playing it from to enjoy it the most yeah because um, I can see it could, it could definitely eat you yeah, up that golf course. Absolutely, can't it? and you know, even we played mostly yellows and whites really today, wasn't it? But um, but then there's the gold tee for yeah. the back, isn't there? Yeah, so yeah. Um, yeah, very good. I'd say it, it's very well designed as well because the shorter holes, so the shorter par fours, um, around the 300 to 320 mark, where you might think, well, I might think sometimes I might have a pop at the green or whatever with the driver. You can't because no. it's so punishing. Yeah, it is. Um, if you if you miss it, you're in probably a bunker that's 20 foot deep or water yeah. or you know. So it, it's well designed in the way that no one is ever going to come here and just smash it to pieces mm. because it, it's it's so hard. Yeah. Um, and, and we played pretty well today as well, didn't we? Yeah, but good. It still um, catches you. Oh, what level par? And yeah. you were one under your handicap, yeah. weren't you? So um, so yeah, but solid. But um, like I said, I wouldn't want to play it. There's not a chance I'd be shooting level par off them back tees. No, no way. No. But uh, but yeah, super enjoyable. Yeah, really good. Super enjoyable golf course. So um, looking forward to the O'Connor as well. O'Connor so. tomorrow. So and night golf tonight. <coughs> yeah, that's exactly, going to be cool, yeah. isn't it? So, so we're going to have these beers. We're going to have um, 
have some food, yep. and then we're going to go and play night golf tonight on the academy course, which is just, yeah. it's a par three course. I don't think anything's like over like 110 yards. Very so, uh, and it'll be floodlits, which I've never done before. Yeah. So Cap it's going off to be a really good first day yeah, here at Hammond Ware, Absolutely it? So will. So yeah, very let's good. enjoy these beers in the Portuguese Cheers, sunshine. Mate. Cheers, and well done, winning by one today. Cheers, mate. night golf we have. how cool is this it's, yeah it's wicked isn't it check this out how cool does this place look There we go. Night golf is done here yep. at Amanduera. How much fun was that, by yeah, the way? Yeah, really good, really good. I would go around this again and again and again. I would just keep, I'd just do this all night because yeah. it's just so much fun. And even though the greens weren't in the best condition probably tonight because they've literally just done a load of maintenance on yeah, it. Yeah, they didn't really want they, us out there, no, did they? they but... And we just nagged at them to let <laughs> us play it, which they did very kindly. Um, but even with that, it's still just super good fun. Yeah, it? very good, yeah. Should we go and get a super box? Yeah, because you owe me one. Yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so whilst you're down here at Amanduera, there is loads of other stuff to do aside from the golf. So there's a jogging track here. There's six uh, tennis courts here, AstroTurf football pitches, and a full-size grass pitch as well. And if you've still got some energy after that, you can go to the gym. And if you're here with your family and you've got little ones in tow, there's something for them too. There's a great park, super safe, all sanded, with some really cool stuff for the kids to enjoy too. Day two here at Amanduera, and this morning we're uh, playing the O'Connor course. So we're just going to have some breakfast first, um, but we're out on the O'Connor today, and weather looks okay. Bit of early yeah, mist. Yeah, much better, isn't it? Yeah, yeah bit, much bit of early mist, but uh, that should clear pretty soon. Um, the get, sun's even trying. The to sun is trying to come out, so um, we'll go have some nice breakfast, and then we'll get out on on the O'Connor. You'll enjoy it. Can't wait. <laughs> So here we are, first tee of the O'Connor course at Amanduera Resort. It's a par five. Okay. Water in play down the left, bunkers down the right. It's long, it's tough. Let's what? go and hit some tee shots. Water's a theme here, isn't it? Water yeah, is tons, the theme of the day, right? Tons of water. Okay. Just then. about, well, there's probably three quarters of the holes we're going to play today where off the tee there's, you can hit it in some water. Okay. So, yeah. Perfect, that's just, just what I want to hear.
So our trip here to Amandware is over, it unfortunately. Is. It's time to go to the airport, get our flight back to the rainy UK. Yep. When the sun is absolutely oh, beating it's beautiful down. And it's, now, isn't it? oh, yep. So nice. So um an absolutely fantastic trip. Yep. Um, I have loved our stay here. Absolutely. Um I think the facilities I mean the facilities here are fantastic, aren't they? They are, yeah, very good. There's literally anything you can possibly There's want. There's so isn't much it? stuff to do here. The Both golf courses are great. Floodlit golf was good. Um, the apartments the apartment are was beautiful. amazing. The gym, really good gym. gym. And what's nice is it's, it's quite a big resort, isn't it? But yep. the the guys here, they shuttle you around. You literally ring them. They're there within a minute to pick you up yep. and take you wherever you need to go on the in, within the resort. So, uh, and the golf courses, of course, were beautiful, very really amazing, good, really good condition. Oh, yeah, they were very very different. Good challenges, really good courses. So yeah, uh, uh, all in all, a very, very good trip. So definitely. Hope you've enjoyed watching this video, guys. I hope this has given you a little bit of an insight into Amandwera and uh, all the stuff that it does have to offer for your next golf trip potentially here. So um, if you did like the video, uh, make sure you give us a thumbs up. And if you've got any comments or any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments box below. And also, if you do want to book any of these kind of trips, um, we'll put loads of links below for you that will help you do exactly that. So. Thanks again for watching and we'll speak to you again very soon.